Solving Systems of Equations by Elimination by Ava Taylor, Alan Banks, Gage Garnick, and Phoenix Dunn. Our first equation was x plus 8y equals 16 and negative x plus 2y equals 4. Since, x is, since the top x is positive and the bottom x is negative, those cancel out. So we did 8y plus 2y, which is 10y, equals 16 plus 4, which is 20. We then divided those by 10, and y equals 2. For our second part, we went in and we added 2 into one of the equations. x plus 8 times 2 equals 16. Since x since 8 times 2 is 16, x plus 16 equals 16. We then minus 16 by both sides, and x equals 0. Our second equation was negative 4x plus 2y equals 27, and negative 4x plus 2y equals 26. Since both signs in either equation are negative and positive, we had to multiply one side by negative one. So then the equations became negative 4x plus 2y equals 27, and negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 26. Negative 4x plus 2y equals 27, and negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 26 equals negative 8x minus, or equals 1, since 2y's uh, cancel out. But negative, or x equals 1 over negative 8, which is not true. So there is no solution. In this problem, we have negative 5x plus y equals 7, and x minus 8y equals negative 17. We multiplied the second equation by 5, so it became 5 multiplied by x minus 8y equals negative 17. Since there is no variable that will cancel out, we multiplied one equation by the LCM, 5, and, the ne and next, we multiplied the whole equation by 5. So it was 5 multiplied by 5x, subtract 40, equals negative 75, eight, or 85. For this problem, we had negative 6x plus 5y equals 11 in 9y, or x, subtract 7y, equals negative 16. We multiplied the first problem by 9 and the second problem by 6, which gave us negative 54. x plus, uh, plus 45y, plus 55x, which cancels out leaving 3y equals 3. And when we divided, x equals 1. Or y equals 1. Crap. Okay. Um, we plugged 1 back in, and we got negative 1 for x. For part 2, after both equations are multiplied...